This video is brought to you by Athletic Greens, a comprehensive all-in-one foundational nutrition that serves every single athlete and physical demand, no matter how busy your schedule is. I started using AG1 because I have a pretty busy schedule, and it's the simplest way for me to get my basis of important vitamins, minerals, and probiotics in one place. They sent me a box of it about six months ago or so, and I've been using it ever since. I used to take a whole bunch of vitamins during dinner or in the morning, and I would often forget or keep putting it off. I didn't want to do it because swallowing so many pills it gets annoying you know uh, so when I got my hands on AG1 it's like it solved all of those issues for me I just set aside a few minutes in the morning to mix it up and drink it and I know I've covered my nutritional needs for a good start to my day which I appreciate the most because it really declutters my wellness routine AG1 contains dairy-free probiotics that protect your gut plus naturally occurring enzymes that bolster the digestive process at first I expected it to have a bit of a bitter taste uh, but honestly it's not that bad I don't mind it at all it even has a bit of a sweetness to it which was kind of unexpected. AG1 contains ingredients critical for keeping athletes and high performing individuals in the zone by supporting the brain and focus. This includes vital adaptogens that act to support adrenal health and recovery when the mind needs stress management from burnout or overworking. Click the link below to get a one year supply of immune supporting vitamin D3K2 and five travel packs free with your first purchase. After all, you can't put a price tag on your own health. Sustainable routines are key Key. AG1 is a daily micro habit that makes it easy to absorb key nutrients, lead a healthy lifestyle, and feel your best. No matter what the day holds, one scoop, one minute, once a day, every day. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We're in the flanker today. We have modernized R77-1s, heat seeking ETs. Uh, as you can hear, we have an AWACS and we're trying to take on an F-35. So I read a little article about how the UK with their F-35Bs, they were working on fitting Meteor missiles into the F-35. Um, I don't know if they've done it, but supposedly it's something they're working on. So I got curious of what it would be like to fight this thing once it had meteors in it. Um, as you can see, we have the Russian RWR. The signal strength is about half. That's that yellow ring that you saw. Um, that light at the bottom there tells me it's an uh, airborne target and that it's right off the nose 12 o'clock. So the Russian RWR can actually be somewhat useful in maybe finding airborne targets, even if your radar can't necessarily see them. It'll show you primary threats, so even if he shoots meteors at me, it'll switch over to the meteor and it'll show me that as uh, signal strength of that meteor, so I can actually tell how far the missile is. Um, it's quite interesting. I actually have nothing on data link either, so my AWACS also doesn't see him. Uh, I do have his AWACS on my data link, but that's kind of useless. He has Patriot missiles too, by the way, so if I push to try to kill his AWACS, um, his Patriots will open up on me. Uh, I have S-300s here protecting me and my AWACS, uh, so I don't think my AWACS will have any issues, hopefully. Although those meteors do have a really nice uh, ability to reach out and touch things from a very long distance. So um, again, we're looking at the RWR. You can see signal strength increasing in the yellow bar down there. Look at this, this is the AWACS. You see how it's four lines? That tells me it's a large target, so I know it's the AWACS. A uh, fighter would be displayed with just two dashes. We should probably head over to the mountains over here. So his signal strength is actually uh, three-fourths full. Which makes me think we should start thinking about defending. It's getting pretty full, actually. Although no more airborne threat. It's now showing me an AWACS threat, so that means he might have gone cold. So I'm just going to start reducing altitude here.
He was over in that direction there. Oh yeah, there we go. Great. Okay, dumping the chaff as we defend here. So he probably shot at me a while ago. That meteor is just reaching me now. Uh, we're going to go cold, although I don't know how effective that's going to be. We might already be in the no escape zone of a meteor. Uh, we seem alright. We're good. We survived that somehow. It must have been like a max range meteor shot. He was trying to embarrass me. <laughs> He's trying to snipe me with a meteor from like a hundred miles out or something. Or at least a very long range shot. Okay, I'm pointing the nose at him. Once again, we're using the RWR to locate him. Um, I'm trying to put the... It says airborne threat right there with that light there. And now it's right off my nose. I'm just going to shoot up a, uh, a mad dog R77. There it goes. No lock. I'm just hoping that that missile goes out there and finds him, sees something. I'm actually going to give him some more. Give him another one over here. Let's do a low altitude one. There we go. Let's do another one over here. <laughs> there we go. He's got to be somewhere over there. That's what the RWR says. Is that stupid? Yeah, kinda, but I don't want to die with missiles on my wings still. You know, better use them than lose them, I guess. Let's defend down here. I'm also carrying uh, R27 ETs, which are long range Fox 2s that flankers carry. Uh, it'll be very useful if I can pick this uh, F 35 up on. Electro optical and I can shoot him with one of these Fox 2s. That would be ideal because you don't need a radar lock for that So that's why I have those um, And he won't know so I can launch them and like theoretically go fly right into them, which will be pretty cool He tried to embarrass me so I should try to embarrass him right make him just fly into a Fox 2 <laughs> All right, so we're at these very low hills here. I'm gonna turn in now see if I can find them We have a little bit of cover here just a little Uh, I've switched over to Electro Optical, turned off the radar, and look at this, I can see something right here. Uh, about uh, 50 kilometers away, pretty far. And it looks like, look at Data Link, it looks like it's going after my AWACS, possibly? But the S300s don't seem like they're engaging him. It seems like he doesn't need to get too close because of his meteors. So I just got to shoot something at him to push him off here. Fox 3. Get him away from my AWACS. Hopefully he hasn't launched already. But I can pick him up at about 50 kilometers on Electro Optical. So. Okay, as we're climbing here, I'm going to give him one of those uh, 27 ETs. There it goes. Fox 2. Let's fire the second one here. He's got a meteor out on me. Fox 2. So his meteor launch kind of messed me up. I fired that second Fox 2 without a lock. Unfortunately, I didn't realize that it dropped lock. But if it sees anything, it should still try to hit it, I think. Dropping chaff to try to defeat this meteor. He might have shot at me, or it might be the old one.
I honestly can't even tell if he fired another missile at me or if it was an old meteor reacquiring me. Just because I defeated it so easily that it seemed like, you know, it couldn't have been a new meteor. Uh, I'm kind of not sure what's going on right now. Although, uh, I think AWACS is gone. That wasn't supposed to happen, and my AWACS was supposed to be protected by the S-300s, but evidently stealth plus a meteor missile uh, equals dead AWACS. So I'm going to go ahead and just commit in this direction once again. He's off my nose according to RWR. We have an airborne target, 12 o'clock. And uh, i got to go out there and i got to see if I can find him, because I think we're actually pretty close. Uh, relatively speaking, of course. And I think I can use my electro-optical system and I can get to the merge. Right now I have radar and electro-optical on both at the same time to try to find them. Give me the best chance, really. And I'm just being sneaky. You know, the flanker is no uh, stranger to being sneaky and uh, trying to get sneaky kills here. And who's to say we can't bag ourselves an F-35 here today? Um, I don't know how many meteors he has left at this point. But I'm hoping not a lot. I'm now over flat terrain, but I'm staying low. Uh, okay, never mind. There's a meteor missile coming at me for sure. We're going to defend. It's coming from that direction, according to RWR. Oh! Did you see that thing go by? Okay, that was uh, that was a close one, but I know he's nearby here. I'm gonna maybe turn in. I think he's in this direction here. Narrowly escaped that last meteor. This is the side that the meteor came from. Should be over there. The ground was supposed to confuse his targeting system. <laughs> I don't think it did that. I'm trying to stay slow here so I can maybe notch it if it comes in. But I'm so close to him, I, I know. Oh, there it is. Okay, another one. Hit the notch here and then we'll turn into him and try to... Oh! Oh, that hit me really hard. Uh, punch out, punch out. 